Hello po, mabuhay. Peace be with us po. Ang blessed din po sa ating lahat. At nagbabalik po ang come and see. Isang path of prayer nga po. Sabihin po natin, Jesus, I trust in you. Okay po. Ngayon po ay nasa fourth Sunday of Easter na po tayo. O pwede po nating tawagin na Good Shepherd Sunday. O araw ng mabuting pastol. In today's gospel po, Jesus said, I am the Good Shepherd. A Good Shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. A hired man who is not a shepherd and whose sheep are not his own sees a wolf coming and leaves the sheep and runs away. And the wolf catches and scatters them. Ito ay sapagkat siya ay nagtratrabaho para sa sweldo at walang pag-alaala sa mga tupa. I am the good shepherd and I know mine and mine know me. Just as the father knows me and I know my father and I will lay down my life for the sheep. My dear brothers and sisters, pinapaalala muli sa atin ni Jesus na siya ay ang ating gabay. Although there are many distractions in life and mislead us in our way, He is still our guide. Pakinggan po natin ang readings and gospel for this day po. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles Peter, filled with the Holy Spirit, said, Leaders of the people and elders, If we are being examined today about a good deed done to a cripple, namely, by what means he was saved, then all of you and all the people of Israel should know that it was in the name of Jesus Christ the Nazarene whom you crucified and whom God raised from the dead. It is in his name that this man stands before you, healed. He is the stone rejected by you, the builders, which has become the cornerstone. There is no salvation through anyone else, nor is there any other name under heaven given to the human race by which we are to be saved. The Word of the Lord A reading from the first letter of St. John Beloved, see what love the Father has bestowed on us, that we may be called children of God. Yet so we are. The reason the world does not know us is that it did not know Him. Beloved, we are God's children now. What we shall be has not yet been revealed. We do know that when it is revealed, we shall be like Him, for we shall see Him as He is. The Word of the Lord A proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said, I am the good shepherd. A good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. A hired man who is not a shepherd and whose sheep are not his own sees a wolf coming and leaves the sheep and runs away. And the wolf catches and scatters them. This is because he works for pay and has no concern for the sheep. I am the good shepherd, and I know mine, and mine know me, just as the Father knows me, and I know the Father. And I will lay down my life for the sheep. I have other sheep that do not belong to this fold. This also I must lead. And they will hear my voice. And there will be one flock, one shepherd. This is why the Father loves me. Because I lay down my life in order to take it up again. No one takes it from me, but I lay it down on my own. 
I have power to lay it down and power to take it up again. This command I have received from my Father. The Gospel of the Lord. Our Gospel for the day is taken from St. John. Let us reflect on the loving shepherd. I am the good shepherd. A good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. Jesus reminds us the appreciation and love of a shepherd for his flock. Nothing can compare to his care for his flock. Gaya po na ginawa niya po sa atin. Inalay niya po ang kanyang buhay upang tayo po ay masagip sa ating mga kasalanan at sa kapamakan. Gaya po sa buhay natin ngayon, wala pong makakatumbas sa pag-aalaga at pagmamahal sa ating ng ating mga magulang. Lahat ay gagawin nila upang tayo ay hindi tayo mapahamak o masaktan. Na ang nais lang nila ay sumunod tayo sa kanila upang tayo ay maging madigaya at ipadama sa atin na tayo ay nasa tamang landas na dinadaanan. Wala pong magulang na sumusunod din kay Jesus ang mapapahamak sa kanyang maanak. May nababalitaan po tayo na may kabataan ang naiiba ang landas. Maybe they are that lost sheep. Lost sheep or black sheep. Mas pinili po ba nila ang mag-iba ng landas at hindi sumunod sa kanilang mga magulang? O naakay lang sila sa masamang impluensya? Tandaan po natin na kahit maiba man po ng landas ang iba sa atin, hahanapin po tayo ng ating mga magulang at ipadaba sa atin ang pagmahal na akala natin ay hindi tayo deserving. Kung tayo man po ay bumalik o matagpuan ng ating mga magulang o shepherd, gayakapin kanila o kakargahin upang ipadama ang pagmamahal nila. Sabi nga po sa second reading, sa first letter of St. John, We are God's children now. Lahat po tayo na wapo ay huwag tayong maiba ng landas. Huwag din po sanang maiba ang pagkakaintindi natin sa pagmamahal ni Lord. O Diyos, maraming salamat po sa pagmamahal at pag-aalaga sa amin. Imulot mo po ang aming mata, puso at isip upang makita namin ang kabutihan mo at maibahagi namin ito sa mga nangangailangan. Protect us and guide us, Lord. Amen. Thank you for watching, my dear brothers and sisters. Maraming salamat po at God bless po sa ating lahat.